production assistant on a commercial shoot here and for tomorrow. We're just starting to set up briefly today. Uh, it's gonna be really fun. Nice little adventure. Take, took this opportunity to practice uh, or to have a little mini challenge to actually practice remembering names since on these uh, commercial shoots there's there's a lot of different people you meet them quickly and still as a production assistant you're helping out with a lot of different things and you need to connect with a lot of different people so it really helps if you can remember people's name the trick is to first I do the association with with the, their name to something so to make it really go fast I took the name that I heard for instance Christian that was one of the guy's names I instantly got a picture of an old friend of mine whose name is Christian because that was the first thing that came to mind so then uh, I looked at this, this guy I said hello to and I scanned for any features in his face or body that really marked him and he had, had quite a big uh, double cheek is that what it's called? I mean, it's double, double cheek yeah, you know what I mean so I pictured this my old friend Christian running around in a mini format on his double cheek like this so now I when I see him I see a mini version of Christian running around with his double cheek that actually works really good well so I, <laughs> I do remember that name and I did the same thing with all the others I took an old name of some old friend of, of uh, mine and then I I looked at their body features there was something in particular one guy had this really big beard and his name was Tommy so I took my old friend Tommy who's a blonde really tall guy so now when I look at this guy I make his beard blonde and I see Tommy just looking out of that beard <laughs> and easy quick tips that actually works and it's a good thing to revise them the name in your head as fast as you you have your a moment of your own you can do some active thinking and also when you're talking to the person try use their name often to, to just make it stick anyhow that is the first day of this this weekly challenge number 12 which has nothing to do with name remembering the challenge is actually to meet up with three old friends to reconnect with them but since I'm gonna be working uh, for two days now not being at home that will be the later part of this week Smut, that is a Swedish say saying for nice, I guess. Feels a little bit like uh, I'm away for a short weekend, even though it's work. A little excitement over this whole thing. Just watched the football, had some good dinner and and enjoyed some good talk with the new people I thought I'd just give some reflection because today I've been maybe I've met maybe 10 new people and it's it is such a good opportunity to really get to know people since you work along with them as I am I'm working as a production assistant I get to help out with all these kind of random things it could be setting up light it could be go buy a bag on Ikea, it could be whatever but it's a perfect opportunity to really talk to people and to dig into who these people are and it's so easy to to just 
don't do that because I really feel if I don't start to dig, if I don't push the conversation, the people at least here haven't been that open to open up. But once you start to dig and show interest, the curiosity of who these people are, and you find these topics that fuel the conversation a little bit, then you, you get a response. You you feel that you're starting to create a connection between the two of us. And it's it's so nice when when I really feel that as a result of me really pushing the conversation. So maybe I started to talk with some persons and didn't get that much response. And usually that may mean eh, maybe I should just lay low and quit it. But now I've actively told myself, okay, maybe you didn't feel like this guy wanted to talk to you, but I'm going to push it. I'm going to keep digging because I know there there is something there. You just have to put the, put the conversation on fire. And when I've actively th thought that and then done it and seen the result of it actually working and see how persons are starting to open up because you you find those sweet spots that really makes the conversation worth having then it's so fun that's the the result of, of improving these social skills and it makes makes it all worth it and with those words i'm gonna call it tonight sleep well my friends <laughs>